Greetings, I am Takur. Welcome, Takur. Thank you for coming. Hello. Uh, Jim had asked me to come earlier, so I was already prepared. Thank you. There are a couple others that are here, but I do not know if he had called them or not. Uh, so the question is, uh, can you talk about telepathy specifically? What do we need to develop to ascend? Like you have experience with human colonies telepathy and yeah. possibly you can give us some instruction. How do you teach people telepathy? How to teach telepathy? Us. How to teach us telepathy? Yes. Um, first of all, there are some humans that know how to use telepathy already. I have experienced that when first learning about humanity. The very first colony at one time was just of human telepaths. And that is how I got to know humanity better, is by talking to the telepaths from your uh, world. But to teach telepathy to humans, you have to understand that it has, in your dimension, it has been told that it is not really a very likely that anyone has telepathic or psychic powers. You must dispense with that, that belief. You must believe that psychic energy is available to you for, for, for the first thing. It is available to all human beings. The reason why humanity says that it is unlikely that you are able to use it is because they don't want you to use it. However, it can be used for very, very many positive reasons. And it can be used for very many positive good reasons. Part of that energies that you exercise when you are a healer is part of your psychic energies. Because you're taking an energy that is um, considered non-existent and using it to heal other people. Giving them energy and healing through your hands, your, your third eye, your eyes, your heart chakra, your palms, your fingertips. Yes, this is part and beginning of psychic energy. Now, if I were to want to train humans, I would say, first of all, take a healing class of some sort. This opens up all your senses. This opens up your belief system this opens up your uh, energy systems and helps you to uh, bring energy through your body and help other people heal. That is a very basic uh, psychic energy. Do you understand that? Yes. Now, what happens when you start bringing energy of healing energy sorts through your body and through your fingers and hands and third eye and psychic energy, is that it actually is starting to wake up your other senses, your other psychic energies. Now, some people don't need that, but it is a good way for most humans to start their psychic journey. Because it, when you start doing healing and start doing Reiki or Joe Ray or any of these uh, healing modalities, it does start to awaken uh, other things within you. You become intuitive a little bit more. You become aware of things a little better. And so this is the beginning. And then meditation on these opening psychic areas would be another area. Do intention meditations on opening your psychic thoughts or talking to your higher self or talking to god or angels or something of this nature through a meditative state this also opens up energies and brings energies to you that weren't there before and these also awaken parts of the brain that have not yet been awakened why because first of all as a child they push these areas pretty much closed immediately by saying, no, you can't do that. No, you can't do this. Stop doing that. No, you you can't be a rock and roll star because 
you'll never make it. You don't have the talent. You don't have this, that, or the other thing. It's always very negative. And from a very early age, you are suppressed. And all those things about your innocence uh, that have great psychic energy, because innocence is a very psychic age. When you're very young, you can see uh, into the fourth dimension in some ways. Uh, but as they knock this down, you are... You no longer have a an invisible friend, or you no longer can talk to uh, animals, or you no longer can do the things that you could do at a very, very early age, and you may not even remember them because you may think that they weren't real. And because your society tells you it wasn't real, then you believe it. So therefore, you just dis dispose of the memory because it's useless so therefore you must believe that your psychic energy can be reignited can be stirred can be awakened so that is the first part find a modality that helps you awaken that do meditations that help you to stir these energies and then practice when you're walking into a room or when you're coming into a place sense the energies that are around you sense to see what kind of entering is it a tense room is it a happy room is it a joyful is it a spiritual room and then when you're speaking to each individual before you go up to say hello sense in yourself what what they are feeling see if you can sense what kind of greeting you'll get from them and practice these kinds of small psychic things and you will start to get better at that any questions hi my dad a question yes hi Descartes. thank you for coming hello if, Wendy. You, if you have a friend that you know is sick and you've been working on them all for a long time. Yes. But they have no idea. You know, they always would say, you know, you could pray for me. So I've always prayed for them and send energy. But now they're in a situation for where their health has kind of like gotten a little worse. Um, how could you bring back that person into a positive state with, with you all right. and Reiki and, and telepathy at the same time and seeing the person. I would um, have a little chat with them. I would have a chat with them first. This is what I would say. You realize that your belief, you must believe that God can heal you. You must believe that the prayers that are coming from to God and to you from individuals are working. Unless, of course, it is their time to pass or unless it is a contractual agreement that they suffer these things. However, if you make them part of the healing and let them know that their faith is part of their healing, then they could be a part of when you pray and when you do healing for them to concentrate on those areas that are not working properly if it is a heart problem or cancer or something of this nature it is in the normal scheme of things that many people when they are very sick give up yeah and you must tell them or ask them have you given up have you are you wanting healing are you wanting to get better or have you given up because there are those that have said oh yes i want healing but then in the next breath they're saying i'm going to go to hospice tomorrow or i'm going to i'm going to probably set up all these arrangements for my passing or or i'm going to they're they're actually saying one thing and doing another yeah and you must understand they must be involved in the healing because they must believe they can be healed and they must want to be healed okay. 
Thank and you. surprisingly, there are those that do not want healed. They want to go. They want to leave. And that is the case with some humans. And because they feel that their time has up and they have no more usefulness or whatever, they may decide to leave or decide that healing is not for them and that they deserve whatever this is that they're going through. You have to understand you humans decide their own fate to a certain extent. And so does every alien. But remember, get them involved in their healing. You have them praying for themselves as well and having them accept the energy that you give them and know that the energy that you are giving them is doing a positive work by coming to them and saying, I am praying for you and I am sending this energy and you can tell them exactly what you're doing if you wish. I know yeah. that some people do not accept Reiki or other things. They only accept prayer because they be they are taught that Reiki is wrong or whatever. So tell them it's the most positive things possible for the their recovery. Right. Also tell them they are also involved in this recovery process. Okay, does, I understand that. Does, does that make sense to you? Yeah, yes, it does. I, and I did have a question to ask towards the zodiac sign, like my sign is Gemini. If you have, if I have both qualities of the male and the female aspect at a full course, how can I use that in a way to gain um, more positive ways of using telepathy? I don't know which one part of it have to be more than the remote viewing, you know, because of the two aspects I deal with as a self. Bring them, yes. Remember this. God created and is part of both of those aspects. And he can do all things. So do not limit yourself by the thought process that one may be pulling against the other because you can unite them and have them work together uh -huh. and use, use that unity of both properties to bring in the greater amount of healing energy because you realize that both sides have equally as much healing power as the other. And they have equally as much understanding about what healing is, but yet they have different aspects of their healing understanding, meaning that males and females have different thought ways of thinking about healing. So bring both of those aspects into unity and become the greatest healer of all. Okay, I, I understand. Yes. And, and thank you once again too for your help. You are very welcome. Beyond the help of the Hi, Takuo. Here's, here's Leela, and um, I would like to, we have, we have only 10 minutes left. Uh, the last question of, the few last question, how the meditation for healing Gaia went, and could you oh. maybe inform us so we are, will be inspired to continue healing? for those who just started, for example, like me, you would like to have some resonance about our work? Well, I got sidetracked because I was going to make that announcement very, very quickly at the beginning, but then uh, things got uh, changed about. But let me tell you, you are already at 93%, so there, it, the uh, event has been already averted. So... Ooh. You have done a wonderful job, and it just reached 93% a few hours ago, and I was very excited. They came to a, a solution that took mo uh, a great deal of the tachyon particles out of the atmosphere and cleared up the area that they were working on. And so the second event has been averted already. And two days in advance or at least two and a half days in advance they had till sunday afternoon at 7 p.m eastern standard time but they are now already accomplished a 93 percent 
uh, clearance. And so the major event will not happen, but they, they will get it to about 98% by Sunday. Uh, should we continue the healing? Absolutely. The more uh, you clear, the better. But you do not have to be worried about it at this point. Your clearing and your energy will just help to um, polish the diamond, so to speak, and to bring right. the bring it to an even clearer state. It needs to be yeah. even clearer than it is, but the event okay. itself has been averted. Right. Do you know, uh, I have a, per a personal question about the healing because I started the healing two weeks ago and that is my first healing in this life. Uh, how was mine personal healing because I was not in the group involved? Did I create uh, some energy healing? Absolutely. You did an excellent job. You were working with some very great entities. You were working with Krishna, Ganesh, and your dragon, and many others to do many, many powerful things. Yes, we did. Hallelujah. I love you. And I love so, you as well. so, so, you know, now I want to inspire everybody who is listening to that video. If it's in the chat room or outside in the world, I am just a beginner, people. And we can do healing, just trust your energies, put your heart out there and just do it. Because I am the living example that well, I am not a healer. But you are. You uh, have exactly. But you prove that you are. The thing is, you are very persistent. You are very persistent about what you were doing and you were able to generate a lot of energy more than you possibly could imagine because your innocence about what you were doing created even a greater power than a jaded outlook. Do you understand? Completely, but I try. I want to inspire people of this earth, our beloved Gaia, people of this earth, please believe in yourself and try heal yourself and Mother Gaia when you can. That is mine uh, word for you because well, I can people, heal, I can cook. <laughs> yes. Remember, Mother Gaia still needs much help at this time. The atmosphere and the timeline are in good shape at this moment, are in not very good shape, but in good shape. But Mother Gaia is still of the three of them in the worst shape. So please send her more energy. I will continue. Here is the last question about the healing. If if a human on this planet take an hour of healing, how much time, for example, on other planets, the entities are involved in the healing? For example, on other, like Pleiadians will be like a week? It, it depends. Oh. Um, you you have to understand it depends on who gets involved and how often you are participating and things of this nature but I would say that that it could take a week or it could take longer or less it depends on your energy your purity the way you're setting your example and your intentions but set them to be as strong as possible only God could tell you how much time that would take. Right. I will have to send him an email. Very, very good. Okay. Does anybody in the chat room has a question? Because we have to yeah. uh, I can add some. Oh. Okay. I can add something, if I may. Yes. It's regarding the timeline. I, w I was told that a lot of higher dimensional beings uh, as well were going up to to the angelic realms and other di dimensions to to also not letting the positive timeline to continue on earth and I also got the message that it was it turned out out to kind of be like a war 
um, a battle between these higher dimensional beings and some angels um, to maintain the positive timeline on Earth. Um, yes, there were some that were praying against the timeline being healed, but this timeline must continue. So it was granted that they were given a solution, and they found it uh, because they were people of faith, or at least many of them were. Yeah, yeah. I, I received the message because I also was a part of that to to help it in astral, but I, yeah. I was told that it, it's fine now, and it yes. is balanced. Yes, you are correct, it is. So that is a wonderful uh, finish up for this uh, Friday channeling. Everybody has to go back home and including Jim. Thank you everybody. And if anybody wants to give a blessings. If anyone a has a blessing, please go ahead. I will leave now. Have a wonderful day. Yes. Thank but you. I will leave you with a short blessing before I go. Yurakawa, Ibachi Wan, Enzikash Amziva, Muwaha Masinja V. May God be with you in all that you do, in all that you say, and all that you are. You are the example of light that will shine in the universe. Do not let it go out. Wonderful Perfect. day. Beautiful and perfect. Thank you, Turku, our beloved sister and friend.